Good morning, YouTube. This is a edition of T's Corner from the corner of somewhere I shouldn't be. Um, but uh, I was just listening to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. And this has been on my mind for a while with everything that's been going on. And even throughout the um, administration of President Obama, because it's been a political uh, hot button for a while. And it's something that I have an opinion on. But then I'm sure you're asking yourself, what do I not have an opinion on? And honestly, I haven't figured that out yet. But um, my question is um, on gun violence. Because everyone is saying we need stricter gun laws, we need to make it harder to get the guns into the hands of these gunmen who would do senseless acts of violence out of hate. And I agree with all of that. The problem that I have is that laws are for law-abiding people. And your friendly, uh, homegrown terrorist is not a law-abiding citizen. So it doesn't make any difference what new stringent gun laws you enact and bills and whatever you guys come up with and sign in government, in the White House, within the states, it doesn't matter. Because the people who are going to abide by the laws are not the people who are running out here and shooting up other citizens. The people who are running out here shooting up other citizens want to break the law. They are criminals. They are homegrown terrorists. And they don't care about the laws. If they cared about the laws, they wouldn't be killing people anyway. So here we go. My point in saying all of that is that more stringent gun laws are only honestly going to affect law-abiding citizens who are not out here willy-nilly killing and murdering people. Because if a criminal wants to get a gun, nine times out of ten, they're not going to a gun dealer or to the store. And I know that in some cases, weapons that are legally and lawfully owned by law-abiding citizens have been accessed by terrorists and murderers. Your mom, your dad, you broke into somebody's house, blah, blah, blah. Somebody had a gun, your family member. Somewhere you got access to a gun that was legal and legitimate, and you did something crazy with it. But that's not the same thing as me, Joe Citizen, going through the process to own a firearm, which is my constitutional right, and then going to Walmart and shooting everybody up because I don't like that the prices are ended 88 cents. I mean, you know, something reckless and as stupid as that. To shoot into a crowd murdering police officers. To, I mean, the only, you know, legalized, sanctioned murder that is going on right now is being done by the police officers. And when I say that, I mean that these are people that we have given a gun and we as citizens pay their salary to protect and serve. And a few things are happening. Some of them are hateful and ignorant and evil, and they really are targeting minorities. Some of them are. But then the other problem is that some of them are not. Some of them are just not trained well. We are sending people out into a life or death situation every day without the proper training to deal with it. Because I honestly believe that the Hispanic officer that murdered Philando Castillo did not do it because he was a black man. I think he did it because he was afraid and he was not prepared and he just knee-jerk reaction, let off and killed that young man for reaching for his ID after telling him to reach for his ID. I'm not saying it's right and I'm saying yes, he should be charged, but I'm saying I don't think it was intentional. So we need to look at the training. So that's some money that we need to put something into. We need to be training these police officers to handle these life or death situations that we then expect them to go into every day because they want to go home to their families just like we do. I have a problem with the arrest of the officer whose name is escaping me right now because that officer is a Hispanic, also a minority in this country. And it took them no time at all to arrest this man and have him charged, which is good because he did murder someone. However, look at all of these non-minorities 
you know, these Caucasians who have murdered black men, who have even murdered white men because black people are not the only people being killed by police, who've murdered Hispanics. They don't bring them to justice as swiftly, if at all. George Zimmerman still running around free, ain't caught a bullet or a case, I don't understand it. But look at all of these officers, the officers who shot Alton Sterling. To me, that was premeditated. Because if you say to someone, if you move one more fucking time or whatever it was that he said to him, and then he catches a couple, then to me that was premeditated because if you're in an argument with somebody and you say, oh, if you say that one more time or you do that one more time, then you're threatening them with violence. So the police officer threatened him with violence and then carried out that violence. And I haven't heard him being charged with the murder of Alton Sterling yet. And I don't understand that. And I find that that is common practice, unfortunately, in this country. So as I am making this video, I am not speaking out against police. I support police officers. I support police officers who do the job that they were sworn to do and that we as citizens of this nation pay them to do. I support them. I do not support abuse of authority. I do not support racism and I do not support poor training. And I think we are seeing a bit of all of that right now. And in these past 12 days, the, the number of homicides committed by civilians and police is just unbearable to hear every day on the news. I have been depressed and just in a shell for the past two weeks behind everything that is going on in this society and it's sad. And I just wanna pray for the nation, I do. I, I pray, I pray for my family, I pray for my loved ones, but I pray for you know strangers and people I don't know either because it's affecting us all. We all live here in this country and it is affecting us all. So I'm just wondering what you think about more stringent gun laws because I don't think it's gonna change anything because I think that the people who abide by the laws are already abiding by the gun laws and are not going out here all willy-nilly and murdering people. So what's the point? You make it harder or impossible for law-abiding citizens to own a firearm, which is their constitutional right, and the bad guys will still have guns, and the bad guys will still have assault weapons, and the bad guys will still be killing people. That's just my opinion. What's yours? Signing out. Tease Corner.